Alan Lippman, uh, what Teresa talked about in terms of some of the values that are really skewed in terms of certain people who are who are going to have uh, be promiscuous when they're young and then uh, get pregnant and then get to a point where they don't want to care for a child and abandon the child in some way. So whose responsibility is that mm -hmm. to get in the middle of that child's life? Does it have to come to the point where the city of Houston is doing it with big billboards and, and, uh, and phone numbers? My God, I would hope not. I actually agree with Teresa to the extent that there's a problem with values in this situation. I think where we disagree is that her solution is to try to bring everyone to a certain values position and the fact of the matter is that a lot of kids are not going to be brought to that position so we need to have options the real responsibility i would say the first responsibility the farthest back responsibility aside from the kids themselves which is most important is of course with the parents you know the parents need to be able to see this in their kids and more importantly because it's hard to see this in your kids when they're away at college they need to send the message, you gotta come to me. I know you're gonna be afraid, I know you're gonna feel ashamed, but listen. All right, I you gotta, gotta come to me and you can let preach, me know. preach abstinence, but teach unqualified support for your children. All right, yes. gotta, I gotta leave it there. Teresa Wagner, Alan Lippman, Jack Furlong, and Cynthia Oxney, thanks to all of you. We'll you hope to see you back here soon. We're gonna take a break, but first, I wanna get you caught up on a breaking story around here from the financial markets. Darby Mullaney over at CNBC is standing by. Darby, big day and not a positive day on Wall Street. Yeah, certainly not. Uh, what a change from just a few days ago last week when we were talking about how the Nasdaq was up 85% for the year, the Dow up 25%, but we're falling back, if ever so slightly, uh, in terms of the percentages for the year. There are two things that are hurting the markets today. First, interest rate fears, fears that... The